I believe I've just got through going through, okay, there's no more of those, no more than we're doing this button here. So let's find all vertical asymptotes of the function. We got h of x is equal to 6 over x. So let's remember that. h of x is equal to 6 over x. And um, what I'm going to do here is, is we're going to sketch this. We're going to sketch this out here. Now, of course, we take the denominator to find the vertical asymptotes, take the denominator and set it equal to zero, right? Well, there you go. That's pretty simple, right? Plug zero in, you get zero on the bottom. So that means that there's a vertical asymptote at, uh, at x equals zero, which is nothing more than the y-axis, okay? So the vertical asymptote is the y-axis. Now, Let's kind of see what this graph looks like. If I uh, plug a positive number in like 1 into this, we get 6 out. Okay. And then, of course, as this number gets bigger and bigger, what happens to the whole thing? It's getting smaller and smaller. So we're looking at something, a graph that looks something like this here. Okay. And then, of course, this is heading off to infinity as we get closer and closer to 0 coming in from the right-hand side. You know, like 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.001, this thing's getting larger and larger quickly. Now, what about a negative number? You put a negative number in here, for example, negative 1, h of negative 1, and of course, this is negative 6. So, as you can see, if this were negative 1 here, it'd be down here, negative 6. So, as we get closer and closer, you know, you just keep putting negative numbers in. Of course, the graph is going down, going down to negative infinity, and then it's always going to be negative, but it's going to get closer and closer to the x-axis as we get further and further out in this direction here. All right, so there you go. Now, where are we going with all this? Well, we're going to be looking for, for example, I'm just going to go ahead and, and show you what's going on here. We're going to be finding... Um, for example, the left-handed limit, right, and the right-handed limit, and the what we what we're going to end up getting here is not a real number, but something that gives us a direction of which way the graph, how the graph is behaving. All right, because remember this is always equal to a real number, but we're going to be using something else. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you in the next problem. Actually, we always go to back to the page. We always hit the answer. Make sure that's correct, and it is. All right. Okay, and I will uh, see you there. Bye.